Hello there, welcome to Just Draft. In this video tutorial, we are going to use the or learn the the use of Content Aware Move tool. You can find the Content Aware Move tool under this. You can right click under the Patch tool. You can find the Content Aware Move tool. The use of Content Aware Move it selects and moves part of an image and automatically fills the area left behind. So let's try that. Right click on this and click on the content aware move tool. Let's say I want to move this this uh, subject to the to, to here. So it's like they are racing and this one takes the advantage there. So select on this, click. Once you select it, it's like a lasso tool selection, but it has a different function. Let's say I'm selecting this. I'm taking the the wave also so that it will take over there. So once I select that, you can adjust the structure so the edge of the selection will be more clear. Will be the, the higher the structure, it, the more it will be clear, or and the color it will blend with the edges. So, but for this, I'm not going to touch that. So let's drag this and drop it here. It's like uh, almost similar with the patch tool, but it it has a different function. So let's say I I'm going to drag it here. It will replace this image based on the neighboring uh, neighbor, neighboring pixels around it, and it will move this subject to this. Let's see. I'm going to drop it here, and once I click check, it will finalize it there, or press enter. So as you can see, it. It moves the object there. You can go to select and deselect this selection or control D. As you can see, there's some distortion here, but you can adjust this by the use of patch tool. Right click on this and click on patch tool. Patch tool is when you select something and go to patch it with another pixel. The press control D. The the, con the content aware move tool it will change it, replace it with the surround the surrounding selection as so i'm going to patch this also content move tool so that's content move tool in photoshop i hope this video tutorial helps you and if you've gone through the tutorial and found difficulties don't forget to comment below so i can assist you and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.